We're here, and we are talking about a woman who lost her husband, and then we felt bad for her, and now we're just mad for her. Yeah, and she didn't just lose her husband. She lost her the guy who was the richest man in East Africa. This guy was, like, worth $560 million. Whoa. And understand, I'm sure, because when I was talking to people, they're telling me, no, he's not the richest. Look, look we are looking at legitimate wealth. Yeah. Tax-paying wealth. Okay. Right? Tax-paying wealth. He owns several... <laughs> like billion dollar companies mm-hmm. in and around Tanzania, East Africa. And when he passed on... Reginald Mengi. Yes, mm-hmm. sorry. Re- his name is Reginald Mengi. Yes. When he passed on, just before he passed on rather, he had written up this very beautiful right? it was so love touching. note to his uh, It was so wife. touching. It was like, you know, despite her age, I know what people think. I love this woman. Yeah, She's the mother she of my children. She loves me for money. She loves me for who I am. She sees me. Yes. Do you know how important it is for a woman to hear that? I see you all, mm. of, oh, all of the time. Say then the guy died. Yeah. And his will was red. And now Lynn has to contest the will. You know why? Mm. Because she was left out of the will. This guy was waxing lyrics and he's still left out of the will. Okay, here's the thing though. We'll give him one thing. He did put the kids in the will. So it's not he like he pretended. He put only three people in his will. Yeah. Three people. His son by a previous marriage mm-hmm. and his two twins, the youngest children by Lynn. Period. Yes. Those are the heirs of $560 million. Which is messy because when he married Kaylin, he took her with her kid from a previous relationship, right? Oh, she didn't have a kid? No. So it was just the twins? Yes. So now she's been left kind of hoping her kids will give her pocket money. I'm telling you, this is an insane...